Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download R and R Studio onto your home computer so you can uh, do the, um, the assignments for this class at home. Uh, so first you want to download R. And I'm just going to search download R with Google. Um, you'll see a number of different R-related things pop up. Um, but I usually just go to the first one, the R Project for Statistical Computing. And in this first paragraph, there's a little button called Download R. I just click there. And there's a number of different servers that you can download R from. Uh, and so what I do is I usually just try to find the one that's closest to wherever I am. Um, so I'm going to guess uh, maybe Tennessee is the closest to where I am right now. So I'll click on that link. And then you'll come to a screen that looks like this. And you just download the R for whatever type of computer you have. So I have a Mac. I'll download R for Mac OS X. And then there's still all kinds of options that you can choose from. But you want this first one that just says R 3.5.1. Now, by the time you watch this video, there might be a newer version out. And just download that version. It's just going to download the latest release, whatever that happens to be. While we're waiting for that to download, if you're using Windows, I believe you only need to download R. But if you are using a Mac, there are a few extra things you need to download as well. And I'll show you those in a second. All right, so this PKG or package has now downloaded to my downloads folder. I'm going to open it up. And you get a little wizard that walks you through the installation process. You don't need to change anything, so you can just accept all of the defaults. Next, you want to install the XQuartz um, windowing uh, tool, I guess, is the best way of describing it. Um, if you're on Windows, I again, you can skip this step. For people on a Mac, you want to download this XQuartz 2.7.11.dmg. It will head to your downloads folder. and you get another package. I'm going to double click that. And another wizard appears. Again, you don't need to change anything on this wizard. All the defaults are fine. Okay, the next thing that is recommended for Mac users is that you download uh, the Clang 6.0 and the Fortran 6.1 uh, tools. Uh, this will be necessary um, for uh, some of the R packages. Uh, and you'll learn what R packages are soon in the course. Uh, but some of the most of the R packages that you'll use are downloaded from, are, are already, when you download them, they're already compiled, and some of them aren't. Uh, and so you need these extra tools if you're going to 
compile uh, and run some of the R tools that we'll use. Uh, so I recommend uh, just taking a few minutes uh, during this first installation of R to install those tools for yourself. Uh, and so you can see there's the Clang package and the Fortran package. We'll just download them one at a time right now. Again, I'm not going to change any of these defaults. Everything should be fine. And now I'll just download the Fortran package. And again, for this installer, you don't... Okay, so at this point, we have everything that R needs to run on our Mac. But what we don't have is R Studio. So I'm just going to search for download R Studio. And click on that first link. And we can just use the R Studio desktop free uh, application. I'm going to choose the Mac OS X version, but if you're in Windows, just choose the Windows version. I'll open up this disk. And what I need to do now is just drag the RStudio icon into the Applications folder shortcut. Because um, I already have a version of RStudio installed, it's asking me if I want to replace it. But for you, it's to just copy over um, without any warning. I'll replace that. And now the very last step before we open up RStudio is we want to move these two disks that have been placed on our desktop into the trash and then we can be certain that the version of our studio that we're using is the one that's on in our applications folder not the one that's on our desktop so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull up my spotlight and I'm gonna type our studio our studio should open up Yes, I do want to open this application. Thank you for asking, Mac OS X. And your version of R Studio should look something very similar to this the first time you open it up. Um, it should tell you the R version. So right now, Feather Spray is the most recent version, or 3.5.1. Your version of R Studio might look a little different. So I just went to R Studio Preferences and Appearance. And I like to use the Chaos Appearance, but you might prefer Chrome or any of these others. So I'm gonna, I like to work with the Chaos one, so I'm gonna stick with that. Um, yours might be a, like a light background to start with. Um, it's just personal preference, which how you'd like your R Studio to, to look. Um, so if you've gotten here, then you have successfully installed R and R Studio. And in this class, we will always be working with our studio. So we won't do any programming in the R uh, GUI. We'll always work with our studio, and our studio will send the commands to R for us. So, um, and the reason for that is that there are a bunch of nice tools that make it easier to code in our in our studio, and we'll want to take advantage of them.